Welcome to my channel! As an as my previous big update video. You can check it out up there in the corner. I talked about making weekly videos about my cycling stories. And there we are on a part 2 of my cycling videos. Last time. Stage 1 was easy, but then stage 2 came and oof. Like someone would put another 50 kilos on my legs. This time. I started cycling with my sister's trekking bike. I bought cheaper cycling shorts in closer shop and put an old bike helmet, which we were using as a kid five years ago. I was riding like every day for at least 30 kilometers, which is normal circle crowd around Prince Kapolia. It's a pretty flat area, but around it, it's kind of hilly road on one side and flat road on the other, so we still need to pedal a lot. I didn't have any goals whatsoever, but the only goal for me was to get strong and pass the next 5 harder physical test. That's next year. Few weeks passed and I started making longer and longer, longer and longer, longer and longer rides. My very first longer ride was this 65 km ride where you are on an asphalt road until you reach point 0.4. And then it's 9 km of Makadam at 7% average grade, with max grade around 30%, which I didn't know of because Google Maps doesn't show grades. I thought it's just not so steep asphalt road all the way, so I finally reached that Makadam section, riding uphill for like 20 minutes, and then asking myself, Why is this road so freaking steep? I must have turned on the wrong corner. However, I don't do anything and keep paying because snare speed in easier get possible. I was literally so exhausted and was going so slow that even old grandma would pass me walking by. I was already somehow lost and there was intersection. I had no idea where to go. So I gambled and picked one. Luckily, I chose the right one. I chose the right one and it was right. After many concerns of quitting, I finally reached up, take a photo and after long, long suffering climb, there's downhill. From there, I knew where I was. That's how this ride ended. Empty and exhausted. A day later, I do 77 km ride with my friend. That's 26 km away from me. On a well known road, so I couldn't get lost. I ride to him, we do a circle around his place, do some drinks together, and then I go home. Again, I had uphill section to get home. Which was so hard after yesterday's ride. And my legs were still sore. However, I had to get home eventually. Two weeks passed and I reached golden thousand kilometers on my bike computer. After 36 hours of cycling with top speed of 61.8 km per hour. Which is crazy for this bike with only 6 gears. I saw a real difference in my fitness and strength from time I started cycling until today. So I had to set a new goal. My goal was to beat my top speed. So after 10 days of planning and looking for best downhill ever to break my speed record, I finally decided. This is gonna be epic. And you already know that in order to have great downhill, you need a lot of climbing. I checked weather forecast and it was hot and sunny. I packed everything, last time looked on the map and go. After 45 minutes of climbing, 10 km uphill segment with my 30 kg bike, for hour and a half of cycling, I finally reached top of the hill. I need to reach that valley, which is 800 meters of descent in next 15 kilometers. Remember, I need to beat 61.8 km per hour. I start pedaling harder and harder. I finally reach speed at which pedaling doesn't help, so I go lower and lower on my bike. I get to the point that my arms are literally straight up holding handlebars. I was as aero as I could be on that bike. I saw the downhill section was ending, so I jumped back on saddle, and that was my first time I really felt slowing down really fast without even touching brakes. Speed decreased for like 20 km per hour as soon as I jumped on the saddle, so I couldn't see my toe speed. After 7 km of flat, I reached bottom of probably my longest climb feeling ever. Here's the deal. If you look in distance at that blue arrow, that is top of climb, where highway and this road are next to each other. I ride for another 200 meters and then I see this. Man, I was asking myself, why me? Why today? I started cycling and I finally reached top after ages. I come home after two hours 
check my bike computer and see this. Damn, I was happy. You had to see my weird happy face. Two days passed and I finally recovered from my previous ride. It was normal sunny day, so I went for a ride. After 25 minutes of cycling, I stop at red light. I wait a bit and then random cyclist stops behind me. Let's call him Barry. From TV series The Flash. You asking why? Because this Barry had fancy road bike and apparently he was going in the same direction as me. He looks at me, sees my trekking bike and my cheap cycling jersey and asks Do you need new bike by any chance? To be continued. So thanks for watching guys, if you disliked this video you know what to do. But if you liked it, click that like button, subscribe or comment down below. See ya!